<laughs> Were you making bird noises just now? Too many talents to count. Vinny Cristoval, hello. Yo, we finally meet people. You have no idea. This is like, this is this is amazing. Because it actually genuinely looked like we're not gonna meet. Because even when yeah. we talked the, the last, you said like, yo, I'm probably not gonna be able to, to, to come here and stuff. And here we are. This is awesome. The word is oh my god. The world is oh my god. <laughs> it's bananas. Now, you are used to performing on big stages. You've had rehearsals here. How did it go? I am used to performing for uh, big stages, but not for like uh, many cameras. Like I usually, when I come, when it comes to like big stages, I always perform, you know, for, for the crowd. You know, I did like arenas, but like for the people. And this, this is this is completely different experience. It's everybody here is super professional. Everything is like clockwork. You know, it's, it's literally a clock, clockwork. Everybody works perfectly. Like people even like tape my in ears here, and then they tape it here, which never happened. And I was like, I learned so many new things. I was just like, what well, you can tape your in ears even here, so that never fall off are you kidding me so it's just like I'm learning more things and stuff and um, yeah it's exciting man I'm actually gonna perform in front of people that yeah. didn't happen to me for like ever that's crazy it's crazy and on the stage you have to move and sing we know you're a mover I mean you snowboard you jiu-jitsu you perform all the time but is performing on that stage different in any way Oh, definitely. Uh, plus, yes, as you said, and as, as you probably know, man, you, I think you are you are extremely observative and extremely like I think fair as well. Like I've been I've been following your reports from the from the you know from the arena, and you're always like spot on. You even like pinpoint perfectly what's what's happening. Like I am I am a mover. Like I can move, but I still I'm still keeping a little bit you know for for myself because like I am waiting for for the audience because that's when I think I. I shine the most you know I can actually take some energy and bring it back but there's you know there's amazing vocalists there's amazing singers in here and I'm just I'm in here just trying to just trying to be as good as possible and uh, just just enjoy it and I'm and we'll see man we'll see man but it's it's definitely bro, it's it's definitely a challenge people are amazing in here amazing it's intense yeah it's intense but what's also intense is your golden jacket this color this is your color did you pick out the color Actually, I did because um, well, well, this first of all, I have to say massive thanks to uh, Yeshi Kalfat, who's the uh, designer of this of this of this jacket, of my, actually my whole outfit, and um, yo, he did such a such a great job. Um, coming up with, with his idea just to really make me shine like this and stuff and I completely trusted him but then he told me like you know what da -da -da -da, and it's gonna be white and you know this this whole thing and I was just like yeah but uh, no I just I just want I just want slightly more like a, a flowerish color you know I just want something more you know I just I just want something more colorful you know yeah. to be honest so so I was the one who, who went for the yellow uh, even though you know, like my, my state flag is you know like white, uh, red, and and blue. I just I just went like no, I just went yellow. They were like, but yeah, but it's not your. I'm like, yo, I am Czech Republic, and I'm yellow. I'm gonna, you know, it's just like, so so yeah. But that's it's it's awesome, man. It's like seventy thousand crystals on it. You know, it's handmade. It's it's crazy. Like there's too much of work on it. If if I was, I would never let somebody do it. He, but he he insisted on making this this epic, and it's I'm happy for it. Is it heavy? It is slightly heavy. It is slightly heavy, but uh, it's worth it. <laughs> it's like... And um, the last time we spoke on Skype, you mentioned that the song was all about how in lockdown you felt isolated and just wanted a sense of connection. Yeah. Not anything nasty, just a sense of connection on Tinder. Did you ever end up meeting anyone? Um, yes, I did. Yes, I did. And. Um... But uh, yeah, not 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 that it like lasted or anything, you know. It's just, but uh, it is. It was exactly, you know, if you if you if you call out for for meeting like this, if you if you kind of like create it like out of your you know passion rather than out of something that just like happens naturally, then it's not. It doesn't always you know like end up being you know the the thing because you because you have a different intention. You know, like the intention wasn't just like please somebody love me for the rest of my life. It was just like yo. Does any you wanna you wanna you wanna see each other? Yo, you do have to you know like kind of like that person mm. stuff. But the intention wasn't like yo, I'm looking for for somebody to spend the rest of my life with. So that's exactly what what I got. You know what I mean? This is like, <laughs> but it could have you know, but uh, but it didn't. But it could have, but it didn't. So are you still inside saying, oh my God, I want connection? Or has the I don't know the situation in the Czech Republic right now. Are things looser? Are you able to meet people? 
you know, I'm always looking for a connection. I'm always, I always want to meet people. I always want to, you know, I always want a new experience. I always want um, I don't want to, I don't want it to sound bad. I want it to sound like promiscuous and stuff. But, um, but at the same time, you know, if you, if you, if you have that option of, of, of meeting people and of like uh, understanding them more in general and stuff and spending more time and just like, because every person is different. Every, every, everybody has a different vibe. And uh, I think that's, that's, that's what's beautiful about life, you know? So, are you are you are you are you single or are you are you in a in, in partnership? I've been in a partnership for 20 years. Yep. 20 years. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. But you know, and it was I wasn't looking for it. It just happened. But right, it wasn't like you were just like, yo, can somebody? You know, you know, it was just like you you met and then at the library, somebody came to get a book, got a little bit more. <laughs> For 20 years. 20 years. Man, that's awesome. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like a li it becomes another limb, you know. It's like part of Hell you. Yeah. But that's that's you know what this is this is you know because I'm, I'm obviously you know like saying here stuff like this and stuff, but uh, to have a connection with somebody for 20 years, you genuinely are like one person in many ways. Like you know how 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 that person thinks. It's 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 not gonna be the right um, maybe example, but like there's this one thing you know my my I love my grandma and. Um, uh, my, my grandpa uh, passed away like nah, two years ago, not even, yeah? But now comes the crazy part because they've been together for 52 years, you know? 52 years. They, it's, called a go it's called a diamond marriage, I think, like if, if yeah, something like that. And um, like even though grandpa is gone, if, if I'm spending my time with, with my grandma and, and we, we talk about anything, like she tries some food that I bring to her or, or we watch something or we watch a movie or, or, or we listen to a song, she knows exactly if, if grandpa would like it or not. And it's just as if he was there because you genuinely upload that person into your life and you know exactly how that person would react to anything. And that's something that is unique and it only will happen if you dedicate yourself to a relationship for this long. Mm. It will never happen, you know, if you're like, yo, you want to meet, yo, cool, 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 and then, yo, you want to meet, you know, it will, you will never get this. So what I was trying to say is that I respect that, I love it, and I think it's magical. And like this kind of connection that you have with somebody for over 20 years is, you know what I mean, you genuinely are one person and you always know you would just you just right now if you if you if you look at me you're like you know exactly if, if the other half would mm. would like it or not oh, you know what 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 that person would say about whatever you know what i mean you just know and that's beautiful well let me ask you yeah. what would your grandfather say about you being at eurovision my grandpa ever since he understood that music is what i want to do because that's something because you know he's from a completely different you know kind of mentality vibe and everything but ever since he understood that like yo music is what i want to do and um, a couple of years ago i actually managed to sold out uh, o2 arena which is you know quite a big thing in uh in Chicago, and he got he got to you know i mean see see that like this is what i this is what i this is what i want to do um i I think he would love it. I'm pretty sure he would love it. I think my, my grandma would know better how he would feel about it completely, but um, I'm pretty sure he would love it. Once, once, they, once, people, once people that love you understand what you love doing and they see the love that you put into it, uh, if they really love you, they will love, they will love your joy. You know, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And, if they, and if they don't really love you, then yeah, then, then, then it's a selfish thing and then blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Blah, blah. But if they really love you, they, they want to see you happy, and I'm super happy right now. They must be so proud, honestly. I was just thinking, because obviously the Czech, there's a Czech Republic of yesteryear, and there's a Czech Republic of today, yeah. and you're like the face of a new Czech <laughs> Republic, I feel. I mean, you must hear this a lot domestically at home. Like, you're this new brand of fabulous. Man, uh, I'm super happy that you're, that you're thinking this way. I, I don't think that this is, this is like the mentality yet, like in general, but... Uh, I would love to adopt this point of view, and uh, I'm just gonna borrow it, and I'm and I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swag it. I think I think I might just be that, you know, at least think so. But uh, you know, obviously there's many different opinions on on who I am and stuff. But uh, yeah, but I like that, you know. I should I should think this way. I like it because like as 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 as. Uh, Maybe some people know, like I, this is like my second song. My first song was, you know, was Kimama. It was just about like me trying to define myself in a, uh, in a country that wouldn't like, not necessarily completely embrace me and fully, you know, in many ways, in many ways, obviously, yes, there's a, you know, there is a fan base. There is, you know, people who like you, they, there's people who fill out, you know, big, 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 big venues, but um, not necessarily. I always felt like I'm a, you know, hundred percent, you know, Czech, even though I was born in there. You know, they always tell you like when when the anger comes in, they always go like you go back to your country, even though you were born there. You know what I mean? So, so 
I'm, yeah, well, that's two sides. Whenever I speak to you, I get this sense of you're just a, you're a feeler. Yeah. You listen, obviously, but you also feel things very deeply. Is it, is it fair to say you're an emotional person? <laughs> you start I, th I think they're vacuuming. Oh, directional mic. We are good. Nice. Vacuum. Okay. Less vacuum. Good. So if I'm a, the question is if I'm a, if I'm a feeler yeah. or if I'm emotional. I th uh, I think that's something. Uh, yes, I'm emotional, 100. percent Like it, it's easy to like uh, get a lot of emotions out of me, and uh, to brighten or to like expand this, this question. I think it's because I was growing up with my mom. Because like they, we, they, my parents divorced when I was four, and I like um, I, me and my sister. We stayed with my mom. She was taking care of me and my sister by herself for a very long time, and uh, so I was growing up with my mom, my sister, my aunt, and sometimes grandma was, was you know, nursing us, you know, so if you are around, uh, you know, like, more feminine energy, I think you get more emotional, you get more, like, um, understanding of other people's, like, feelings and stuff, I, I believe that, I don't, and I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if, it's, if this is correct to say, but uh, it, like, this is how I feel, like, if, I, if I'm talking to, like, some of my friends who grew up just with father, they, they are they, they are slightly different, you know. I think it's fair to say there's an empathy, like yeah. a motherly a motherly empathy that comes yeah. through. Um, a lot of my friends who have lots of sisters say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So I would say this is this is what's been this is what happened to me, and I'm happy for it. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. You're like this ball of positivity yeah. and emotion, and um, it's just so lovely. I'm smiling now. It's like Vinny Cristo is here. Man, I'm really happy to see you live, man. Genuinely, like, genuinely. This is like you you, you get to meet people and stuff, and you, you talk, and yeah. But uh, man, I, I even did like a video. I, actually, I did a. Woo. I did I did like a quite emotional like a, like quarantine song just like for a couple of my friends and stuff. And I incorporated you actually in it, you know, because I, I just genuinely like we when we talked, like I just felt like it's it's real, and um, I'm happy. I won't bring it back up, but there's a, a segment in that interview which is so emotional, and I have I have afterwards I'll just say I stopped eating meat for a little bit because um, it was it really got to me. In any case, Benny Cristo, on that stage, what will you fix or what will you change? Is there anything that you, your eyes, says, mm, I want it a little bit different? Um, it's, it's not like, it's not about fixing it. I mean, yeah, it is about fixing it, but it's just like right now, it's like there's the technical side of like the choreos and stuff and like where is the camera, it's, it's something to fix, you know, it's something that you have to just like, you know, you be, be professional about. But what I would love to change or, you know, do more is just, to give people the, the energy that I that I feel when I'm when I when I'm when I'm writing this when I when I wrote the song and the energy that I want people to uh, to feel when when they when they look at when they look at me because all of these lights all of the all of the stress all of those tests that you have to do before you before you get here all that gets into your mind and then you forget who you are and then like you know I mean, you start the, you start the show and stuff and there's a glimpse of it there's like glimpses of like who you who you who, who you want to channel like what kind of energy you want to channel but it's not but it's not there always and um, and I think that's a shame because like if I go deep into like who I am like I, I, I believe like, I can give people a lot of positive energy and I can I, and I believe I can make them feel better not not like that I'm oh I'm, I'm the guy who's gonna make it feel better you know not in that way just yeah. like braggingly saying like yo I'm the one who's gonna but I just if you had that option of, of channel some kind of positive energy to people you better do it Ben you know, so uh, I want to focus on that. I just want to give them more of myself. He's an athlete. He's a thinker. He's a feeler. He's a singer. He's a musician. I've heard you rap before. I've heard you drop the Afro beats in Kamama. He's doing everything. You go to Kenya. You work in the studio. Yeah. You represent for the animals. You save the animals. You're an activist. I wish I could. I wish I could save the animals, but that's something that you know. It's a it's a it's a job that we all have to kind of slowly start getting into. It's not you know, you, you as a as an individual you you can do you know so much, but uh, at the same time it always comes down to to all of us you know. So that yeah. Oh, he is Benny Cristo. Oh my God, semi final two. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so so much. Man, it's a blessing. I'm 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 genuinely happy that we got to a stage where we're able to to meet each other without mask in person. You're amazing. You're amazing guy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again. Absolutely. Thank you. Bump.